So in today's video, we were going to attempt to get this whole engine together, the whole tractor together, get it fired up. Well, we're not Discovery Channel. Can't do it in an hour segment. So we worked our tails off. We got it all together. Ran into some problems at the end. We'll be back around. We'll get it running. We'll be all right. So not a big deal. Uh, we did lose some video somewhere along the way, so I'm redoing this intro. Um, again, we're not professionals. We're learning as we go. Pretty new to this. So let's go ahead and watch a video and... Hopefully in the next video, we'll have this thing running. So follow along on the 8N project. So we got the bottom end all put together. I didn't video that. It's just too hard with the uh, with the engine still attached to the tractor. So there's a lot better videos out there on the internet with an engine on a stand that can can go through it and film it a lot better. So we're putting the uh, we got the rods in, the four pistons in, everything torqued down. We're putting this doggone oil pan back on. You know, when Henry Ford designed this tractor, he made that oil pan part of the structural component of the tractor, kind of the frame rail, I guess you'd say. Um, man, that sucker's heavy and kind of a pain to put together. So let's get this thing screwed on. Okay, so here we are in the manual. This shows our torque sequence. So always start from the center, work your way out. Um, I think the final torque is 55 to six, 50 to 55 foot-pounds. We're going to start at 30, do them all, go back through, hit them all at, at the higher torque, and uh, we'll be done with the head. If you're still on this, don't forget, hit that subscribe button down there. Let's do some more videos. Make this kind of a pain with this, with this tube on there. Alright guys, make sure you get the firing order right um, when you're putting everything back together. Trace the plug wires back. Firing order is one, two, four, three. Cylinder number one. Cylinder number two. Cylinder number three goes up there. Is this one? number four? All right, the engine's all back together. Check this out. We're ready to put the front end back on. The wiring's all hooked up. So much easier right now without the hood on. Plug wires are all ran. Coils wired up. Heads torqued down. We gotta get two bolts back in the oil filter housing. Now we get to try and put that front axle back on. See how that goes. Shouldn't be too bad. Use a jack. Okay, here we go.
the old oil pressure gauge was was junk, so let's put a new one in. The last thing we want to do is fire this thing up without any oil pressure. Son of a gun. Boy, there's nothing more disappointing than being 15 minutes from starting the tractor and, and having to set back. So, I think a tree or something landed on this tractor. The hood was all caved in. This radiator's been repaired in the past. Um, I don't know if it's worth repairing again. I know it's a good copper core radiator, but I think it's just going to vibrate and leak forever. Um, might attempt it. Um, might just order a new radiator and be done with it. So, Let's regroup here and try her again.